right, so this is the steel combi system where you have a power head and that you can attach and detach um, different ends on it, depending on what it is you want to do. In this case, I got a uh, string trimmer. Uh, I always have called them weed eaters for some reason. Uh, but um, this case put a, a weed eater on there. Um, I also have, just for some things that I want to do today, I also have the uh, pole saw attachment to put on it. I also have a hedge trimmer attachment, which I'm not going to need today. And then in here is an extension for the pole trimmer, for the pole saw. And so this is an additional 37 inches, I believe. Uh, so you attach that, you get the additional 37 inches, and you can get up there pretty high with that. I want to say uh, probably close to 10, 11 feet, I guess, and then however, however high you can reach. Um, the particular power head that I use is the KM130R. At the time that I bought this power head, this was the uh, largest, most powerful one that they offered. Um, I don't know exactly why I decided to do that. Obviously, it was more expensive. Um, that wasn't why I bought it. I just thought that uh, with all the different attachments that I was going to put on it, that uh, I should probably go with, with the most powerful one they had. But I'll be honest with you, um, this particular one is very heavy. And I think that uh, if I were going to do this again, I you could definitely get away with one of the smaller power heads. Um, because you, you know, even th know that this thing is very powerful and it runs every attachment that I have very easily. Uh, I've never had any problems with it. Um, you know, it's typical steel quality, so you're going to get a, a good product. But um, uh, but you 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 come out here an hour, two hours of, of running uh, a weed eater or uh, a hedge trimmer or something like that, and this thing becomes a real workout. Um, but as far as quality is concerned, it's uh, it's done a real nice job. But I like this combi system because uh, you can just get you know pretty much every attachment that they have if you need it and um, you can just swap them in and out and it really really makes it nice really makes it convenient okay so I brought all that stuff out here because my task today is I am going to uh, use the weed eater to uh, trim the grass down along 10 acres of pasture fence. So I'm going to pretty much cover this entire area. And um, it usually takes me a couple hours to do that. And then the intention here is, is that um, once I trim this down, that we'll come back in depending on what the rain situation is going to be today. Um, but anyway, what we normally do is we put Roundup along the base of that fence, along that fence line, and uh, that keeps the grass from growing up along through there. And So usually this is about a once in a, a year job, but for some reason earlier in the spring we just didn't get to it. Um, but uh, So that's the intention today, I'm just going to go all along this fence line and we're going to trim all this grass out from underneath there and then I'll throw some Roundup and hopefully that'll be the last time this year that I'll have to do it.
pasture. It took me, uh, it was actually about two and a half hours. I've got this tree sitting out here in my front yard. I'll show this to you. So it's this pine tree right here. And uh, we had an ice storm last year and it started breaking branches off. And uh, you can see it's just kind of weird looking. Some of those branches down there in the bottom, you know, the tree, the tree just doesn't seem to have any structure to it. It's just got some of those crazy branches down there in the bottom. And it just so it has kind of driven me nuts. I've been meaning to get out here and cut those off. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the pole saw now and um, swap out the weed eater for the pole saw. And I'm going to put the extension on it because I think I'm still not sure if I'm going to be able to get to it. But I think that one branch is going to be too high unless I have the extension on it. So anyway, this is something you can get um, for the pole saws. Uh, I believe this thing is 36 inches, 37 inches, something like that. Anyway, they tell you, they tell you not to uh, use two of these. I bet you could. Sometimes you gotta finesse that thing to get it, the male female fittings to fit up just right. Anyway, they tell you not to put two extensions on there. But you gotta know that at some point I'm gonna try it. Get my guard off. I bet it would do it. Okay, so with that extension on there, you can see how long that thing is. I haven't ever measured it, so I know it's a three foot extension there. That's probably three feet, so that's six feet. The combo, the combi head itself is probably another close to three feet. So that's nine feet. And then, you know, if you can reach up above your head with it, you have to kind of balance this thing when you have that big long extension on it though. But, all right, let's go in here and see if this thing will reach it. I hope it will. I know it'll get those lower ones right there, but it's that one that's just a little bit higher. It looks like it's kind of broken anyway. That's the one I want. All right, let's cut this stuff.
for dog poop when you're weed eating. Bad, bad, bad.